Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to cover about modulation transmitter circuit. Understanding the modulation scheme will be helpful to understand coherent quickly. Today we'll cover how PPSK and QPSK modulation transmitter circuit works and generating the signal with MAC gender component. Also, we'll learn how to calculate the bandwidth with port rate and modulation. To not miss any update and get notification for new video, please subscribe the Optics Transmission channel. Modulation. Before going to BPSK modulation, let's take a quick flashback to modulation. As we all know, we live in an analog world and digital signal must be encoded into analog wave. That's the data that actually transmitted on fiber. For that, we are using the first modulation that is called as amplitude shift king. This is also called as IMDD, intensity modulation with direct detection. In this, we have two states. Absence of signal, it's zero, and presence of signal, it's one. In amplitude shift king, we can encode one bit per symbol which is enough for 10G technology. As line rate increase beyond 10G, fiber impairment such as chromatic dispersion, polarization mode dispersion, optical noise, and non-linear effect become significant and impacting overall transmission performance. To overcome these and increase transmission performance, we move to another modulation scheme that's called as phase shift king, PSK that were introduced to improve optical transmission performance. In PSK, modulation of carrier change the phase of carrier to 180 degrees at the transition from logic 1 to logic 0 and vice versa. In coherent network also we are using the multiple PSK circuit where the change in increment with almost 45 degrees. Using phase modulation provide better resiliency against non-linear effects because the signal amplitude remain almost constant in time. In addition, phase modulation scheme lower the overall effective transmission symbol rate where multiple bits are encoded per symbol. That means now the signal travel at lower overall speed related to its nominal high rate like 40G, 100G are now not suffer the effect of increased PMD and chromatic dispersion. Phase modulation. Let's take a look how PPSK transmitter circuit works. For this, we'll use a laser and a MAC gender component. A light is generated by laser, and when this light enters the MAC gender, is divided into two so that it pass over the upper and lower arms of waveguide. On the lower arms of waveguide, you can apply a signal that actually change the refractive index and effective velocity of the light at that point. Let's have a look how this is working. A light is generated in the MAC gender is built into two, and lower arms of waveguide we are applying a data signal. On the both arms of the waveguide, the carriers travel over different paths. The upper arms is going with 90 degree and lower arms is going with 180 degree. And when the two parts of the light are recombined again, there is a series of phase change encoded onto the light that is directly related to the input signal. And on the receiver side, this is show how phase constellation of genetic PSK in clock cycle looks. If a phase symbol exists on the left of the constellation, then the receiver would interrupt this is as a one. If the symbol exists on the right of the constellation, then the receiver interrupts this bit as zero. QPSK modulation. QPSK modulation can be obtained with almost similar wave like PPSK with addition of complex transmitter circuit. For that, we are using the laser and a complex 
embedded MAC gender that is also called as nested MAC gender component. In nested MAC gender component, we have two data input point and the upper MAC gender form is called as I signal and lower MAC gender form called as Q signal. To generate the Q quartz signal, we are using a 90 degree phase shift controller to form the quartz Q signal. So light is generated by laser and it's divided into two. Then it goes to MAC gender and again divide into two to travel upper and lower waveguide. In lower MAC gender, we are using a 90 degree phase. It generates the Q signal. And then based on the decision threshold, QPSK signal is created. And this is how the clock cycle looks. In QPSK, we are carrying the two bits in each symbol. By using the more complex driven signal, the same super MAC gender component structure is used to generate all type of the amplitude and phase modulation technique like 8 QAM with 3 bits per symbol, 16 QAM with 4 bit per symbol. This is the list of all modulation with bits per symbol. Like we have the BPSK with bit per symbol 1, QPSK with 2, 8 QAM with 3, 16 QAM with 4, 32 QAM with 5, 64 QAM with 6 bit per symbol. Now we know the bit rate. Let's have a look on port rate. Port rate. The rate at which a signal is modulated is called port rate, also called as symbol rate per second. For example, if we are transmitting a 10 Gbps signal, means a light is 10 billion time is flashing bright and dim within a second. So we say 10 gigabot is the port rate of that signal. Now we can calculate the bandwidth. To calculate the bandwidth, we are using the formula board rate multiplied by polarization multiplied by bit rate per symbol. For example, my signal port rate is 32 giga and I'm using the dual polarization, here is the two, if you are using a single polarization, you can use single as count as one. And we are using the QPSK modulation, which has the bit per symbol is two. So my total output row bandwidth will be 128 GB. Here are the list of some data rate with modulation. For example, like with 200G data rate using the 56 port rate with dual polarization of 8 gram we have the bit per symbol is 3 and the row bandwidth will be 336 i hope this video put some light on your thought thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe also refer my blog on www.optictrans.com and my facebook page optictrans_learn Thanks for watching.